Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have the second part of the unboxing I did of the six string banjos from Van Gogh. So if you haven't watched that other video, it's a little funny too, so you might want a little laugh because it took me 11 minutes before I realized it was not a five string banjo, but a six string banjo because in my head, I thought when I read banjo, that's all I was thinking. So it's actually kind of funny. Uh, but I do go through all the specs of the six string full size 38 inch Van Gogh banjo. It's lovely. It sounds great. It's so much fun. It's a guitar, but it's a banjo. So um, I play a couple of songs on demonstrate how to place the bridge and all that. So I want to get to the mini or miniature version or the smaller version of this, which is right here. And it says it right on here. Well, it says six string banjo lally. I'm gonna let them know that we really don't call um, banjo lallies something with steel strings that's six strings. I believe it's really a four string uh, ukulele. That's where the lally comes in, ukulele, banjo lally. It's really a four string ukulele with a, a drum head, a banjo head. So that's where um, the term comes from. I've heard banjitar. And I believe in some of the specs, uh, at least it says it on the 38 inch one, that this one as well will say banjitar somewhere on there. So just not to be confused, this is actually a six string banjo. And just like the other one, you get a really nice gig bag. It's very thick. Um, material it's not thin it has padding and you get a goodie bag oh this feels even filled with more more good stuff so let's see what that's going to be about we'll open the goodie bag after because I found that most people just want to get to the instrument and I don't blame you so do I so just quickly it's got the straps for backpack and this is even more portable and lighter so you could definitely take this anywhere the beach, you know, hiking, anywhere you want. This will go with you. So let's open her up. And it's got a side strap too. Okay. It's got a little nice thing that you can, the other one had this too, I didn't mention it, but to hold the neck in place, which is very nice. I've only actually seen that in higher end guitar or you cases, so that's actually quite lovely. So, and you have your Van Gogh embroidered G, uh, F clef, which is really nice. Everybody uses a G clef, this is an F clef. And um, the bridge is right here, which it'll be, have to be placed as well, which isn't really too hard. They give you a tool to do it, so they make it even easier. And the bridge, can only go in one direction. Banjo bridge is a little more tricky because they have the high G string and then on the bottom too, so there's two high strings. But this is not tricky at all because the higher, the thicker pieces of wood here have deeper ridges and that's for the wound strings. And then it goes down for the thinner strings, see? So that'll be easy to place. Okay, dun, 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 dun. I'm showing you before I can even see it. Is it nice? Wow, look at that. I believe this is also mahogany, just like the other one. But now I know the neck is uh, not rosewood, it's okame. I'm gonna get up close so you can see it. So this is the drum head, but I'll show you the sides. Really lovely wood, closed back tuners, see? They have also the little F clef for the Van Gogh label. Beautiful Van Gogh wood carved, like almost like wood burned, right? F clef that has a truss rod, which is really nice because if the uh, the neck is bowed a little, are there any problems, it's good to have a truss rod. Just like the other one, you can take this off, but you'd have to, see these tiny screws? 
I won't be doing that. You have to use a little tiny screwdriver and you can remove the back. But in this one, it's not necessary to remove it in order to uh, adjust the tightness of the head, which is really nice. Feels pretty tight, but you never know. Okay, so this classic thing here is what I'm referring to as the guide to help you place the bridge. So let's take this parchment paper off so you can see the nice okame neck. It's very smooth. The other one was smooth as well. Take this off so you can see the, the neck again up close. And again, this is your guide. Only goes one way. Now this one does not say Remo drum head. It doesn't mean it's not, but it doesn't say it. So I would have to look on the specs and I'll put it on the video when I'm editing, whether it's Remo drum head or not. It's frosted. It's got a strap button here, and you don't need one here because you could just put it, it's probably a hook to put it right on. One of these brackets, you can put the hook. It's a little tail piece right here. And six strings. Okay, I think it's 28 inches, or the other one's 39. This is definitely like the size of a, Probably a tenor, yeah, tenor ukulele, I would say. All right, so I'm going to, um, uh, you know, loosen all the strings, place the bridge. If you want to see how it's placed, I'll put a link to the other video because I show it in, de in detail. Okay, so now I place the bridge on here using the guide, see right by the arrow. I will have to adjust it when I'm tuning it to make sure the intonation is correct. See, this arrow goes right to the end here right there, and it goes all the way here. It's really easy. They make it very easy to place the bridge. You make sure the, the strings are loose enough that you can flip over the bridge without breaking the bridge or the strings. Now I will take the plastic piece and tune it up. Hey everybody, so I have the bridge placed. Um, I had to shift it a little so that when I would play an E open and then an E on the 12th fret and all the other notes that it would respond accordingly and it would stay in tune. It is having a really hard time. I don't know if it's the weather, it's new strings. I'm going to have to stretch these a bunch before I can even play a tune on it. So I think this unboxing is just going to be that. Just the unboxing, I'll let you hear what the notes are. It's E, A, D, G, B, and E, just like a regular standard size guitar. But right now these wound ones are just so out of pitch and I might have to fiddle again with the bridge. Um, so I'm going to open the goodie bag, so at least you see that, and I could put a strap on it as well. I used the tuner that came from the full-size banjo that they had sent me. So right now, let's do the goodie bag. As you can see, I opened it. I wanted to make sure that the tuning was the same, because on some mini banjos, I've actually had to tune them up to like a G tuning instead of an E, so everything would be that much higher, uh, because the scale length is so much shorter. I don't know if that's part of the problem with this. I'm not sure. So I read in the book that it says E-A-D-G-B-E. I will write to the rep and tell her my experience and see what she says. But it's a nice book and it has all the different sizes and the different banjos that have either four string, five string, or now six string. And what else? The, the, the tuner you would get is in here. I'm not going to open it because I opened the other one. And then this is an extra set of strings. And it does, in fact, say E-A-D-G-B-E. -E. So they, they are assuming that this, they're telling me that these strings can make this stay in tune E-A-D-G-B-E, -E, just like a full-size guitar or the six-string full-size banjo uh, guitar. So we're going to play with that after I shut the video. You have a truss rod adjuster here, and you also have a... Um, a little I'll come up here so you can see it it's a little tool that you can use to adjust the coordinator rod with this 
I wouldn't do it myself. I'd have somebody else do it. And this little rounded part, okay, that one adjusts the... And we, maybe I'll do that. I'll do that now so that maybe that's part of it. So after we do the goodie bag, I'll adjust the, te the head tension, the tension of this head. So we'll use that tool. Okay, it comes with the strap I spoke of, picks, which I could use, and a cleaning cloth. So let's put the strap on. I'll show you how that, I didn't show in the other video, so at least I'll show you how the strap works. It's a little different than a regular guitar strap. It has these clips, and that's something really great because you need it for these brackets. So the first one, the first, you could actually use, and I'm not gonna do it because my hands are really bad. You can open this up and then use this part here, which is attached by a, a very strong like um, button type thing. It's metal. And then you can actually use this like a regular strap on a guitar or any other instrument that has this kind of a, a strap holder, okay? But I'm just going to, to use the um, metal clips because it's just as easy and it's fine. I've seen a lot of banjo people um, do that. So we're gonna clip it to here, see, so it's clipped. And then you're gonna clip it to this side and you can use another bra another bracket. They're really strong. Okay, so now it's clipped, and you're really not like letting it dangle. You're, you're holding it, but it's just a nice way so then you can be hands-free and have a little more support. Because, uh, you know, it's a little awkward because of the round, <laughs> you know, banjo head. So let's take the pick out. They give you four picks, very nice, picks with the Van Gogh logo and the um, bright red. And they're in all different sizes, which is nice because I like a thicker pick. Oh look, everyone has something different. That's cute, this has got like a guitar on it. I didn't notice that. And they all have the, um, the F clef. So I'm going to use one of the thicker ones and I'm gonna tighten up the banjo head and maybe that will be part of the problem. I don't know. You know, maybe. Maybe that will help solve some of the problem. I'm not a luthier. But I know what doesn't sound right and what does sound right. So this is the little tool. And you're supposed to go very, very slowly. Let's see if I can get it in the video. So you see, you put it on. And then you, you just let me get it on. Okay. See, now it's, ah, it's on, and you would just tighten it towards you, okay? I believe, no, or is it this way? No, it's that way. You tighten it forward. So you do a little bit at a time. I could see they're really loose, so I'm probably going too far, but um, normally you would only tighten a little at a time. But I can see that maybe when they shipped it, they purposely did that. I don't know. So I'm going to just tune these up. I'll probably speed through this. <laughs> okay, I tightened them all a bunch because they were very loose. Um, and Seems very pingy still. They said um, if you tighten it and you start to hear a squeak, that might be too much. So let me tune this up again. Okay, I'm gonna shut the video and play with this and see if I can get this to stay in tune. Hey everybody, it's Maria. So if you're continuing to watch this from the first part of the video, um, it's a different day. 
I'm wearing different clothes. Um, and there's a new tuning. I told you when I opened up this little banjo guitar by Van Goa that they had the tuning as a regular guitar, E-A-D-G-B-E, E-A-D-G-B-E. And they had the strings that said it. I remember saying that out, you know, on, you know, on the video, but everything was too floppy. I couldn't even play open chords and it sounded awful. So I knew that there had to be something wrong because Van Gogh has always sent me high quality instruments that I've always been really happy to share. And a video doesn't lie and audio doesn't lie. So, and I don't, you know, have any magic tricks up my sleeve. It's what you see is what you get. So I was very disappointed and it literally took me days into Christmas and beyond trying to figure out what could be the problem without even looking at the instrument again. And then it hit me. It's definitely the wrong tuning for this short scale because their longer scale instrument, the 39 inch banjo guitar that I opened up in the previous video uses strings just like a guitar, E-A-D-G-B-E. Their guitar strings, it sounds like a guitar, everything's great and I had no trouble with it. So I realized that this one is the scale, really, of a tenor um, ukulele or banjolele. And those have four strings, and it's it's just tuned like a, like a standard ukulele, like a tenor, soprano, or concert ukulele is tuned G, C, E, A. So then I thought, okay, wait a minute, there's something called a gitzalele, which is when you take this, a, you know, a ukulele and add two more strings and those top strings are now A, D, G, C, E, A. And really it's very similar to guitar tuning because it's the same spacing. And if you took, and I mean between the strings as far as, um, you know, intervals. So if you took a regular guitar, even that banjo guitar and put a capo, I think on the fifth fret, I think that's it. You would then get um, these tuning of this. So let's say E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Yes. So if you had E open, then you would, and put a capo right here on that guitar or guitar, banjo guitar, you would get this tuning, which is A, D, G, C, E, A. And these four, that's a ukulele with a low G. Some ukuleles have high G and some have low G. And so now I figured out how to play this and have it make sense. So this would be just like a gitzalele, but with a banjo head. So you can play any songs for the Gitzalelli, which there are quite a few out there if you go search on the internet and maybe even some books on them. I know Terry Carter has a book on the Gitzalelli. Um, you can now find music for it. And you can basically still play ukulele music, but play the full chords. And that's what I'm gonna do now, because a chord is a chord. It doesn't matter if you're looking at a guitar chord, a U chord, if you know the chord on that instrument, it's the same sound. So let's try a song. In the cavern, in the canyon, escalating for a mine. Lived a minor 49er and his daughter Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful, sorry Clementine. Now you could see I actually started because I forgot this wasn't a ukulele and I played what would be a C on the ukulele this way. But if you're playing it with all the notes, it's like a G shape on a guitar. And the G7 is actually the full D7 on a guitar, but it's G7 on this instrument, or a gitzalele, or a ukulele. So that's cool. And this song literally uses just those two chords. So that's very cool. Let's find something else. Um, what I've noticed um, I'm from now on, I think when I'm doing these kind of videos, 
I have to use public domain music because YouTube has been striking me down <laughs> for copyright. So in order to avoid that, I'm just going to use music that's in the public domain. And believe me, there, there's plenty of really nice music in the public domain. As I've been learning the actual full size banjo, I've been appreciative of all the different songs that are out there. Let's see if I can find one more to share with you. Well, let me try, you can play a little bit of, uh, I need a pick, I could use a pick for this, but I'll try to use my fingers. can do that and still practice ukulele tunes, finger picking, finger, what do they call it, finger style, flat picking you can do. So that's cool. Now I understand I didn't get it and it was driving me crazy and I wasn't really happy with it because it wasn't working the way I thought that it should. And now it makes all the sense in the world. Why? Because it was the wrong tuning and now the strings feel so much better they're staying in tune they're definitely um the intonation is better at the 12th fret more than that i could play chords and it sounds good <laughs> i don't think there's anything more in this particular book i know i played some songs yesterday let me look let me look at one more book Here's another public domain song. She'll be coming round the mountain. And now for a C, an F chord rather, you would play like a C shape on the guitar. Or if you were just doing the F on the ukulele, it still works. Just don't hit those top string. But if you want to hit the top string, hit the full chord. better about this instrument and it works now it works now I could say I could see myself using this because remember before I was like I can't see myself using this so yeah now it's a very nice instrument by Van Gogh we just had to figure out the tuning thanks so much for watching and thank you Van Gogh take care look at this little munchkin she's so patient she's so patient look at her look at her she's such a patient girl be well everybody take care